What up, Internet? I am the PC Goblin. And today we're going to be testing out noise levels of various hard surface mouse pads with a variety of different mice. And the various mouse pads we're going to be testing are the Razer Vespula, a cheap mono price mouse pad. This is made out of aluminum. The Vespula is made out of plastic. Uh, Razer Invicta, and the surface itself is plastic, but then the base that holds it is aluminum with kind of a rubber foot on the bottom. So I'm not sure how you want to classify that one. And then finally, the Skypad Glass 2.0. And as the name implies, this is made out of glass. And if you guys haven't seen my review of this, you should check it out. It's on my channel. It's really a great mouse pad. And then the various mice that we're going to be testing are the Magic Mouse made by Apple, Apple Mighty Mouse, a Logitech M310, and a cheap Insignia wired mouse that I've got. And then finally, my Razer Ouroboros. And then for the testing, we're going to be testing out all these mice on top of the Glass 2.0 to find out which one's the loudest and which one's the quietest. And then we're going to take those two and then test them out on the rest of the mouse pads to find out, you know, how loud each mouse pad is with the loudest mouse and the quietest mouse. And then once we're done with that, we're going to be taking some Teflon feet that Skypad sent me and sticking them on the bottom of my Ouroboros and testing that out on the glass mouse pad and then the Razer Vespula. So to start out, I've got an SPL meter on my phone and my phone is about a foot away from the edge of the mouse pad, so right here and then going that way. And then above it, about in the middle of the mouse pad, but up about 12 inches away from the top of the mouse pad is where I have the mic that you're listening to my voice through. So you can have a good idea of what it sounds like if your head's, you know, about a foot away from this mouse pad. So just moving it around with this mouse, so I get up to about 50, but it averaged at about 48 decibels. Switching to the wireless Mighty Mouse. This mouse stays at about 54 decibels. When it's not moving and clicking, it dropped down to about 48 decibels and got as high as 58 decibels when I was moving really, really fast on the mouse pad. Moving to my Logitech mouse, which is the M310. Okay, this is jumping anywhere from 54 down to 46 decibels on my SPL meter, and it averaged about 50 is where I saw it sitting the most, but it was kind of all over the place with this mouse. It didn't really have an average. Okay, switching out to my Razer Ouroboros. So with this, when I'm moving the mouse all the way around, not really you know, putting any weight on it, it was getting up to about 58 decibels. But when I was using it more normally, it was sitting at about 45 decibels. So now we're gonna be going with the cheap Insignia mouse. All right, so that's the quietest mouse out of all of them. Just moved around like this, got up to about 53 decibels. When I was actually using it, it hovered at about 45 decibels. So we're gonna test this with these two mice on the other pads. First up, the Invicta. So normal usage with this mouse, about 41, 43 decibels. Okay, this one's saying about 37, 39 decibels. Switching to the Vespula. Okay, it's staying about 43, 45 decibels. Okay, 
This is 40, 41. So about 47 average on that one. Okay, this is about 43 average under normal usage when you're moving around quick and whatnot, 50, 51 decibels. So the Skypad is definitely the loudest without the special Teflon feet. I now have the Teflon feet on here. These were kind of a pain to actually install the backing on it. It was really hard to get off, so I had to use a pair of tweezers to take that off, but got it on, successful. So now we'll see just how loud the Skypad is with the mouse. This was one of the loudest mice, so it should be a pretty good example. So I'm moving it around like crazy like this. I got up to like 41, 45 decibels. And then under normal usage, like this, the highest it got was 41, and it sat generally around 37, 38 decibels. So that is a huge amount of difference between sound levels with the little Teflon feet on, on them. Let's switch back to the Vespula and see how that does. So on the Vespula with the little feet, comes down to about... 36, I think, was the standard level, but I saw it go down to 31 for a second and then got a high of about 39. I saw it hit 41 at one point, but it was only for half a second, if that, and then it immediately switched, you know, then immediately after that I only saw 39 as the high. And then shaking it around like crazy was sitting about 41, 45. So it is a little bit quieter than the glass mouse pad. Now that we're through with the testing, here are all the results that I found. So hopefully it took a few seconds to take a look at the results that we got to see the different sound levels from the different mice. But we found that the loudest one was the Skypad. That's why I actually tested this first to find out which was the loudest and quietest mouse. And then the quietest was the Invicta, but that doesn't surprise me since the whole base of it is this soft um, you know, rubber material, so it just sits nice and flat, doesn't make a whole lot of noise. And then the one that was kind of in the middle was the Vespula, so I tested that with the Teflon feet along with the Skypad. All in all, these tests were kind of extreme to really show just how loud they could possibly be, but Keep in mind, this was also with the mic a foot away from the mouse pad with the SPL meter right next to it, so it was picking up the noise a lot louder than it probably is when you're actually gonna be using it on your desk. And I've used all these mouse pads except for the Sky Pad, which I've only had for a couple of weeks, but I've been using it since I got it. And I've used all these mice for a long time. And to be honest, the noise levels on all of them with any of the mice you know, really have never bugged me. I've never noticed them. It's never been something that's actually crossed my mind until on one of my previous videos, you know, somebody asked me how loud it was. But we did find a way to make your mouse a little bit quieter if that is something that does bug you. And, you know, that's by getting the Teflon feet. But at least I hope you found this video interesting. And if you did, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you didn't, well, you know what to do. And I hope you guys will subscribe to my channel so you can see my upcoming videos. And I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching.